Tips for building fire pits. A concrete home in Mexico models concrete finishing touches, the effects of hot weather on concrete, and an innovative stamping system for decorative concrete surfaces. That's all next on Concrete Network TV. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Concrete Network TV. I'm Maureen Barley. The allure of sitting around a fire has been around since the beginning of mankind. Fire provides warmth, light, a cooking source, and of course, relaxation. What better way to enjoy the romantic ambiance of a fire than an outdoor fire pit? ConcreteNetwork.com offers many tips for building your very own fire pit. This section includes information on everything you need to know, from inspiring photos to construction and placement ideas. Here you'll find information on everything from choosing a design, placement and seating considerations, to the decision to whether to build a gas or wood burning type. For example, when thinking of where you want your fire pit, consider the view from both indoors and outdoors. Also, the interior veneer must be authentic fire brick with a fireproof grout. This detail is often overlooked by installers. For more information, look in the left-hand column of ConcreteNetwork.com under Outdoor Concrete. Click Fire Pits. Oh, and don't forget to check out the Fire Pit Photo Gallery for a ton of exciting design ideas. Hola amigos! Partners Jerry Kelly and Kim Bergman of Corbett Supply in Tucson, Arizona have built two low-cost concrete homes on the Gulf of California and Mexico and then finished one of them with concrete countertops, sinks, benches, and tables. The homes were built using local labor and the Perform Wall panel system manufactured in Mexicali. The decks are cast concrete, too. Even the stairways are concrete. They worked with the Buddy Roads press technique which provides a veined look to the concrete countertops when it is pre-cast, then finished with the second color. They built the cabinets and the doors and cast the sinks, then took them down to Mexico. For more information, visit ConcreteNetwork.com and search Mexico. Muy bueno. Whew, it's hot out there. The heat can really be a drain on you and your crew, but did you know that the heat also plays a huge factor on the outcome of your concrete work? Evaporation, exothermic reactions, condensation, ambient temperatures, and friction all play a big role. ConcreteNetwork.com has compiled a comprehensive section called Hot Weather Concreting. All of the technical whys and how-tos are included. For example, we know that curing is critical anytime, but in hot, dry weather it needs to start as soon as your finishing operations are completed. Friction within the concrete during mixing can generate enough heat to raise the concrete temperature 5 degrees in 30 minutes. And in hot weather, as the cement sets up, slump decreases rapidly and more mixing water is needed. This can contribute to lower strength. The good news is that there are many ways to lessen the effects of hot weather on concrete. First, keep the sun off the concrete, if at all possible. For interior slabs, try to place after the building has been closed in. Outside, use sunshades. Also, keep all of your tools and equipment out of the sun, especially things like pump hoses that will come in direct contact with the concrete. Once you understand the power of heat and how to control it, your days of uncontrollable set times, shrinkage, and cracks will be over. To read all of the detailed information, visit ConcreteNetwork.com, click on the Find a Product tab, then in the left column, click on Hot Weather Concreting. Get it while it's hot! This week, our featured product is the Rock and Roller from Cleform. The Rock and Roller is an innovative new decorative concrete technology. These unique rollers create a three dimensional impression on the concrete with all the details of the shape and texture of natural stone or brick. The unique roller includes a weight and spray release system that allows you to complete your work with half the labor in half the time. The whole process is simple. Pour the concrete as usual, float, edge, snap a chalk line. Apply concrete release to the roller and to the concrete, then begin to roll out the pattern. Weights are added as the concrete conditions change. Any touching up can be accomplished with R&R touch-up tools for joints. For complete detailed information, visit ConcreteNetwork.com, search Roller. Well, that's all for this episode of Concrete Network TV. Be sure to check back next time when we unveil the Concrete Network's new concrete stenciling section. 
and McCarthy Concrete in South Windsor, Connecticut create something special for disabled children. For all of us here at ConcreteNetwork.com, I'm Maureen Barley. Thanks for watching.